Willis Oma Odiambo from Kisauni is amongst the candidates barely making the cut on the last day of registration of independent candidates. Like those who came before him, he is armed with the resignation letter, identity card, and an application to vie as an independent. He is also armed with another important piece of requirement, an assortment of symbols. One of this will be his identity on the ballot box. Being amongst the last to undertake this process means his options are that much narrower, a predicament faced by his compatriots. There's no any candidate when you have flash this. So flash is like to me a GB, meaning meaning zero sana. <laughs> While they await for approval at the IEBC, those who applied earlier have the approved symbol which they now present both in soft and hard copies for final approval. However, the journey to getting these symbols that much closer to the ballot hasn't been a walk in the park. I submitted 20 symbols, so out of the 20, uh, one was picked. I was picked. I was picked. I was picked. I was picked. The symbols being presented here today will eventually find their way to the ballot paper that will be used in the August poll. And their role there is pretty simple to enable especially the not so literate voters to identify the candidates of their choice. The symbols can be anything other than the candidate's image. This has given the candidates the creative licenses to create, adopt, or even invent symbols, and they have come up with a variety, from the normal everyday items to some not-so-obvious symbols. The common factor in all of these choices is the meaning and reasoning behind a particular symbol. Back at the Registrar of Political Parties, Jema finally gets one of his symbols approved. Not the missile he wanted, but a stepler instead. He goes back to Kisauni with a new challenge, how to craft his campaign message to reflect his symbol, his confidence that with that stepler, he will mount a befitting campaign that will land him into the 12th parliament after this year's election. Brenda Wanga, NTV.